let me be very clear when it comes to my position as the number one love strategist in the world when it comes to the Sprinkle Sprinkle movement. It is toxic on its face and dysfunctional. And for all of the women defending it, saying that she's not a love coach or an expert, and she tells people that if you're looking for love, then I'm not the one for you, and that women are still blindly listening to her and following this advice to use men for money and to come up through men who are going to provide and take care of you is dysfunctional. I'm wondering, are you guys awake? Are you robots? Are you hearing yourself? You're taking advice about being in a relationship, because that's what you are, with a man who is transactional. That means that you are wanting something from somebody for nothing. Thinking that it's going to end well for you is not smart, okay? It is energetically out of order. It is spiritually out of alignment. The only thing that can come out of that is heartbreak, pain, and dysfunction. There was a young lady in Nigeria who followed the Sprinkle Movement. She said that on her page and she found her a rich man and she would post about her going to dinner. One of the other TikTokers presented this story and she showed how she was getting all these, these shopping sprees and trips and dinners and everything else. Well, the man caught her looking at another man, I guess, and they found this woman dead in his apartment with her vagina cut out, her breast cut off, and this baby, because she was young, murdered, dead. This is the danger that comes with this idea that it's okay to use men for money and to make that be your primary objective when choosing a man to get in relationship with. Any suggestion, any advice that doesn't encourage women to properly vet and select a man to vet him for his values, his valor, and his character, and that love should be a key component in your decision to become in relationship with this man. And of course, he needs to be financially successful and stable. Of course, he needs to be a provider man. But making that be the sole identifier of if you choose a man is dangerous on his face. And I will keep saying something as long as I'm seeing it. And if everybody's too scared to say something, then that's absolutely okay. And if all the trolls try to come and say that I'm a hater because I'm saying something, then ma'am, you will be blocked and I will be unfazed because at my big age, there's nothing that you can say that can hurt my feelings. But the truth is the truth and I will 100% say it with my chest and stand on it. Words matter. The things that you listen to and that you ingest matter. They go into your mind subconsciously. They vibrate throughout your body energetically. And if you're thinking that you're taking in the good, whatever that may be, while spitting out the bad, and that it's not still all impacting you, that you're not still ingesting the low vibrational frequency of the message, then you are delulu, okay? You are delusional. You have closed your eyes to the truth. And what you ingest Whatever you put inside your body in any way, whether that's mentally, whether that's in your mouth or energetically, will present itself in physical, tangible form in your life in some format. And the reason why I'm here passionately sharing this with you is because I do this because I care about you. I do this because I'm an advocate for women. I am good when it comes to business. I recognize that I am not for everybody and business is good. I have more demand than we can handle at this point. So it's not about that. It's about watching women end up hurt, watching women end up in toxic relationships like the Risa Tisa situation. Not saying that she was a sprinkle follower, but she had the same sprinkle mindset in a way because she admitted that she closed her eyes to knowing that this man was lying to her because he was paying the bills, because he was taking care of her, because she just wanted to feel the sensation. She wanted to feel that somebody has my back, somebody cares for me, somebody's willing to take care of me. She wanted that. And that's normal, ladies. It's okay for you to want that. However, you got to keep your eyes open when you're doing that. And it can't just be about the money because any man that's talking about giving you money and taking care of you without wanting the emotional the emotional exchange without wanting anything in return. He's lying. He's a fraud. 
He's a narcissist. And you will get hurt. And there needs to be somebody that's going to warn you. And if you choose to do that, ma'am, then do you. Okay? Enjoy your life and enjoy your choices. I am not here to stop you. But at least you will hear these words. And maybe one day, if and when you find yourself in that situation, you won't stay as long because you will remember what I said. And at least somebody loved you enough to show up and tell you the truth. The Sprinkle Sprinkle movement is toxic on its face. And any type of message where it's teaching you to be selfish and go get the bag first forces you in your masculine energy. It forces you in your low vibrational root chakra, and it is not for your highest and best good. When you are a woman who's operating in your feminine energy, you don't have to go and get any bag. You don't have to go and get anything. You attract. You don't chase. You are attracting the abundance. You are attracting the money to you. You are attracting quality men who want to provide who want to protect you. You are attracting these things. You don't have to go out and get it. And this is another thing too, is that this? it also shows that the women who are following that movement are women who often are financially challenged, financially disadvantaged, because rich women don't think like that. They don't think at the idea of, I'm just gonna get a man to, to use him to take care of me because we are taking care of ourselves. We have our own money. We want a man who's going to add to our empire. We want a man who's going to add value to us. We want a man who's going to show us what we can consider him because we have way too much to lose than to choose some daggone joker who's dangling a few pennies in front of our face. It's like, okay, that's great. I can do that myself. But what else are you bringing to the table? And let me tell you something. Men who really have money, they're not dating broke women. They're not dating women who have no money, who have nothing that they're bringing to the table, who's walking around in Xi'an and Teifu and thinking that they're fooling somebody. You're not running game on anybody. The only men that will appeal to wanting to pay your bills are men who don't have it to begin with. So why not develop yourself as a type of woman who can become abundance, radiate abundance, and attract that abundant lifestyle, attract that abundant mindset so that it's natural and it's in balance and it's in harmony and it lasts versus doing it in a toxic, dysfunctional way that can never work out for your highest and best good. You are not a prostitute. You don't need to sell yourself. You are worth more than that. You can attract your romantic best friend who will love your soul and uh, he still financially be able to provide. You don't have to settle because if all he has is money, he's broke in every way that matters.